Further along our trip in Ghazwin, we asked civilians to tell us where we should go to dine. And by unanimous vote, everybody pointed us to the Armani restaurant that is famous for serving the best Gaymenesa in Ghazvin. Gaymenesa is a local food and we're gonna tell you what it is inside. Please follow us. Before our main course is ready, I'm gonna uh, enjoy some appetizers, which is, as you know, dour, some non-alcoholic beer, a mojito, lemonade, seasoned olives, and a soup as my appetizers. And I am waiting for the main courses to arrive. As I said outside, we are going to try Gaymenesar today, which is original to Gazvin. Now, uh, let me read one, uh, what one website quotes. It says Gaymenesar is one of the most delicious and colorful foods of Iran. It was originated from Gazvin and is mostly served at special occasions such as weddings. It's the food you should try on your trip to Gazvin to experience a Luke's taste. Now, it lives up to that. Let's, let's see the ingredients to see why we say a Luke's taste. Now, as I said, this food is mostly served at wedding parties in Ghazvin. So let's see the ingredients and why they actually do that. Because everything here is expensive. We got minced meat. We got uh, rice. Uh, we got almond, sil slivered almonds. We've got barberry. We've got slivered pistachios, and uh, we have orange peels. As you can see, we have orange peels, and lots of barberry, and then uh, infused saffron in the rice. Uh, a, a little rose water to give it a delicious taste. A lot of butter, and uh, that's about it. And also for the seasoning, we have salt, pepper, cardamom, turmeric, and cinnamon. We also have two minced onions in there. Well, I've tried this food before and I, can, I can't lie to you, I like it very much, but I'm not sure if it's my uh, favorite. But my friends told me that this place is going to make a difference, so I'm going to try. I have to get a layer of everything, you know. Now, the slivered pistachios and almonds um, are very crunchy. And um, I, I don't know if you like it or not, but mm, for me it's really interesting. And uh, the, the taste is really rich, I can tell you that, because mm, you will taste uh, sourness, um, salt, pepper, everything along each other, and the rose water gives it its traditional taste. Uh, I think it's a must-try food, and if you ever visited Ghazvin, Bey Menesar is an option not to miss. All right, I'm sure you've heard about kebab, but in Iran it comes in different forms. Today, we have two forms of it. We've got uh, kebab kubide, or kebab with ground meat, and we have kebab bag, which is a whole other story. All right, I'll, I'll, sh I'll show you how they're different. Okay, first and foremost, any type of kebab can be served by, uh, well, barbecued tomatoes. And uh, your main course wouldn't be called a main course if you didn't have things on the side, like cabbages, pickled cabbages, onions, vegetables, and some uh, fried potatoes. Now, let's go to the difference between uh, kubide, which is this, as you can see. Uh, let's talk about what kubide is. Well, kubide is an Iranian meat kebab uh, made from ground lamb or beef, and it is often mixed with ground pepper and chopped onions. Now, uh, the other one, which is kebab bag, let me get a piece of that too, all right? The other one, kebab bag, is uh, on a more serious note, actually, sorry. 
Now, a kebabag, or literally leaf kebab, is a Persian-style barbecued and marinated lamb, and it has its own special seasoning, but you can also have bag with chicken and stuff like that. Now, the main ingredient is a filet, or tenderloin, lamb shark, and stuff like that, which is usually mixed with olive oil as well. Okay, I hope you'll forgive me for this, but my hands are completely sanitized and washed. But I mean, I, I it wouldn't be fun if I didn't do this. So I'm gonna hold it from here, and um, I'm gonna go medieval on this. Yeah. Mm. You know, it's chicken kebab. It can't be not delicious. It's just so delicious. All right, let me pour some uh, lemon juice on it. All right, and you get that. And then it's difficult to manage, but okay. Mm. But one of the differences between this kebab and bag is that it's juicy. Mm. And some people really prefer that to the unrivaled taste of uh, bag uh, kebab. Okay, now let's have a piece of uh, kebab bag. All right, as you can see, it's not ground and it's meat, it's just meat. All right, let's see. Mm -hmm. Can't taste bad, it's, it's just a basic food and it never loses its delicious taste. Honestly, uh, I didn't think that our trip to Ghazvin was going to be so much fun, but it definitely was beyond what I could ever expect. The food was awesome, and the cafe that we paid a visit to was nowhere near as I had uh, pictured it. Uh, also, if you like our videos, please make sure to subscribe in our channel not to miss anything. Also, make sure to hit that bell button on top uh, to get a notification every time we release a new video. Thank you very much, and I hope you, you will uh, stay with us.